Due to COVID-19, students all over the country, including many across Kelloland, have had to forgo graduation, an extremely important rite of passage for anyone at any age. Virtual graduations have become quite popular from John Krasinski's Some Good News to former President Barack Obama's Graduate Together. While Sioux Falls virtual graduations this weekend probably doesn't include an actor or a former president, Dr. Brian Maher, the superintendent for Sioux Falls Public Schools and his staff, have been working hard to make the virtual events feel just as special. Welcome. Thank you. So, we have a lot to talk about today because this virtual graduation plan, when we think back to the beginning when this all started, we didn't know that we would be doing this virtually. Maybe we would have been able to do it real. So We thought this would pass. Right. Yeah. So, talk a little bit about, you know, putting this together and still making sure a graduation ceremony happens just in a different way. Yeah, you know, when we started this whole thing, really what we were trying to think about is um, how do we get that face-to-face -face graduation to take place? And uh, fairly soon after thinking that, we got to the notion of oh, we may not be able to graduate face-to-face, -face, so how do we put together a virtual graduation? And when you have the volume of students that we have in the Sioux Falls School District, it's quite an undertaking. So our community relations department got moving on it, and they're ready to go this Sunday. So what is this virtual graduation going to look like? I mean, obviously, yeah. we're not in a huge gym or area where people are going to be walking across the stage. So what does this look like? Yeah, as much as it can, it'll look like a typical graduation ceremony. Um, but obviously, th there won't be that personal interaction. So we wanted to really f remember, who is this graduation about? It's about our seniors. So uh, we were able to replicate the, uh, this, the speeches. The superintendent has a little bit. The principal has a little bit. President of the Board of Education, Cynthia Mickelson, has a little bit. But then we have the student speeches, and those will be a focal point. We also have a pro processional where we'll have uh, pictures of all of the graduates and their names appearing on, on uh, the virtual graduation. And then we have a, a highlight video that will be a part of it. So every school, New Tech, Roosevelt, Washington, Lincoln, will have their own personalized graduation and uh, that'll all that'll all come to pass on sunday let's go through those details oh, In interesting the length of the the length of the uh, ceremonies is uh, about the the length of if you were there in person oh really yeah so okay it, it takes a long time to show 2000 graduates or, right. or, or you know in in, uh, in in an individual school's uh, circumstance four or 500 graduates and then the speeches, are these just from chosen students, or how was that picked? Yeah, it was picked the same way that they would be picked uh, if, they were, if it was a live face-to-face -face graduation. So there was a, a competition, if you will, an application process at each of the buildings, and two of the speakers were picked to be part of the, part of the ceremony. So then for their speeches, are they recording them? their self at home and sending them into air, or will this be done live? Yeah, no, they were actually, they were actually recorded um, and they're, everything's ready to go. And there will be a, there'll be a DVD or a Blu-ray that every senior gets as a, as a memento. So if two years from now, 10 years from now, they want to go back and, and watch their uh, DVD from their high school graduation, they'll be able to do that. Well, that's a plus because all yeah. I have from graduation is like a video from very yeah. far away that you can't see that was taken on a phone. So right. there are benefits to this. Yeah, I, I think about, this is a, a reunion year for me and, and and uh, the folks I graduated from high school with, you know, five years ago or maybe 40 years ago. And it'd be cool to have something like that to look back on uh, today. So that, that would be a neat thing that, a neat keepsake that our graduates will get. Yeah, and to show your kids yeah. in the future that this is what it looked like for you to kind of explain what we were all going through during this time. Yeah. But let's go through the details now. So first we have, um, we're going to go through uh, New Technology High School. So just like the time and where we can tune in. Yeah, New Tech High School will be the first graduating class. That'll be at 11 a.m. Uh, on, on Sunday, Sunday morning. You can tune in on either Facebook Live or YouTube um, through the Sioux Falls School District. Also, it's on our, our channel and will be recorded on there uh, into the future as well, which is KLearn Television. And can Lincoln. I say that on here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can. And Lincoln High School. Yeah, uh, one, one o'clock we'll have Lincoln High School the same way. You, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and, and our uh, television channel. And then Roosevelt? Roosevelt will be at four o'clock. Uh, and these would have been the times if these were face-to-face. -face. It would have been New Tech at, at 11, Lincoln at one, Roosevelt at four, 
and then we'll cap off the day at 7 o'clock that evening with Washington High School. Very, very exciting. What kind of response yeah. have you had from parents after getting the news that this is how graduation was yeah, going well, to be taking right, place? Right away, we got some really good feedback from parents saying that uh, this was a, a good option. A little bit melancholy, a little bit sad because they knew it was the giving up of the of the face to face on May 24th, uh, but also relieved that there will be a way to, to have a ceremony. Uh, plus, as a as a family, you can determine too what does Sunday look like. Uh, is there a is there a some sort of celebration in the house, in the garage, in the neighborhood? Um, so those things can still take place as well. But there was an event to plan around, and I think that's important to families. Right. There are still so many ways to make this day special. Right. right. So let's talk a little bit now. If I want to watch this just through the website, we're going to bring up the website and kind of show how we can navigate through this and just watch it live through there. Yeah. Well. Excellent. Yeah, the the, uh, the virtual graduations you can get on our website, which is uh, sf.k12.sd.us, and you'll be able to. It'll be very prominent, and and you can navigate that uh, website and be able to get uh, live and and see the information, see the ceremonies. I think it'll be something that, uh, in lieu of face to face, it'll be something that our seniors and their families are pr proud of. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how many viewerships tune in too, because. I know this is a little bit different because they had the adopt a senior opportunity going around on Facebook. So people right. that don't even didn't even know who the student was now have made a relationship with them. So yeah. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people tuning in to watch these ceremonies. Yeah, and maybe if for no other reason for curiosity. Also, right. I don't have to sit and listen to the whole thing if I don't want to. I can right. come and go. So yeah. hopefully there'll be a nice turn. Yeah, trying to look at the positives, right? Right. right. All right. Well, thank you so so much for coming yeah. in today and telling us all about this. Always a pleasure. Thank you.